I'm back with a video of telling you five reasons why you should learn Korean. <laughs> yes, I'm happy as a Korean to present you why Korean language should be considered as your next language to learn or to convince you to study more if you're already learning it. Okay, then let's go directly find out why. First, unique and beautiful letters. Korean letter Hangul is created artificially with all the written history while most existing letters in the world are probably based on Egyptian hieroglyphs such as Roman alphabets or Chinese proto-writing in the case of Chinese and Japanese. The history of Hangul starts with this man here on Korean bill of Manon, which values about $10. This man is King Sejong, he was a king of Joseon dynasty in Korea's past history from 1418 to 1450. At that period of time, in Korean peninsula, there was a Korean-owned language of verbal communication, but there wasn't any letter system. So, Korean people in, in that period of time, they instead used Chinese characters for the writing, or the influence of the Chinese characters in China. However, as you might guess, Chinese characters were too complicated for normal people to learn and use. For those who had to spend their most of time in harvesting and surviving, education and learning Chinese characters was something extravagant only for the privileged in that period of time. King Sejong felt so sorry for his people that they do not have ways to appeal to the government and that they cannot read and get the information. So, he decided to create the letters which are easy and available to everyone. This is actually a very surprising achievement considering the periodic situation at that time. The letter system was something only for the privileged, not only in Eastern but also in Western world. And the privileged class never wanted normal people to know how to read or write the letters because it would be bothersome to control them. However, the King Sejong didn't mind it. He only cared for his people. It is also historically clear that there was also a very strong disagreement of the privileged class at that time. Throughout his efforts, Korean letter Hangul was finally created. The letter Hangul is created imitating the vocal organs. So each letter resembles how its sound is being made in our mouth and throat. For example, Kyok, whose sound is G, is the shape of the tongue shape when making g sound. Mium, whose sound is m, is the shape of the mouth when making m sound. Iung, whose sound is u, is the shape of the throat opening when making u sound. And Hangul is evaluated to be very scientific and useful in expressing almost all the pronunciation quite accurately. So for this trait, a minority tribe Tia Tia in Indonesia has chosen to use Hangul as its official writing system. It's the first case of a Korean alphabet, Korean letter, Hangul being used by a foreign society. And two provinces in the Solomon Islands also adopted Korea's Hangul writing system to preserve their spoken languages. Quite surprising, right? The Solomon Islands previously attempted to teach their native languages using the English writing system, which is alphabet, but the program was halted since English alphabet was not enough to show the exact pronunciation of their native languages. So instead, they chose Korean letter Hangul. Hangul is evaluated as one of the greatest existing letters in the world. So UNESCO designated Hangul as a world heritage and the UN award given to the ones who contributed to lowering illiteracy is officially named King Sejong Prize. Hangul is so easy to learn. So start learning this easy, unique and beautiful letter Hangul first and then find the joy of learning Korean language. My lengths! Second, many potential chances. Korea is relatively a small country. The top five largest countries in the world are Russia, Canada, United States, China, and Brazil. And South Korea is placed at 107th place. And of course, in terms of the countries with the largest population in the world, South Korea never gets into the top 10. 
South Korea is placed at 28th place. Yes, there are more factors to represent the potentiality of a country besides the territory size and population. But still, South Korea is relatively a small country and everyone knows it. However, I'm telling you for sure that you will have so many potential chances if you speak Korean quite proficiently. Since South Korea is a small country and its strategy has been aggressive overseas expansion, the domestic market is not big enough to boost up the energy or to boost up the economy only within it. So South Korea did not have any other option but to expand its market by linking its economic and political relations with so many other countries in the world. Active exports and relations with foreign markets are what South Korean government, South Korean corporates, and many companies in Korea are aiming at. And universities in Korea are also striving to attract foreign students with so many benefits. So, many Korean companies have got branches, offices, and production factories or you know faculties in all over the world and they definitely hire the local employees who speak Korean proficiently with more benefits. Plus, the HR strategy is slowly changing in those Korean corporates. Since they are the Korean corporates, the concept of local employees has been the employees, not the managers, even if it's the local branch or office. And they dispatched the Korean workers or the, or the Korean national managers from Korea. However, it's now changing. They admit that the dispatched Korean managers do not really know much about the local market. They're not the professionals when it comes to the local language or the local you know, knowledge. And those talented local staffs cannot be perfectly replaced by the Korean managers. So talented local staffs fully can be the managers and when they can speak Korean, which is the main communication method within with the HR in Korea, it's the absolute bonus that Korean employees cannot beat. I'm not just telling you about the corporate job, but if you're still a student, you'll get definitely a huge benefit if you speak Korean. Korean universities attract talented foreign students and the entrance pool is not the same as Korean students, so you do not compete with Korean students. If you have the topic 4th grade, the chance to get the full Korean government scholarship is much higher, which provides you with a full tuition fee at Korean universities and monthly subsidy as well. Just because you're not a Korean national but speak Korean language, you can get so many potential chances linked with Korea. My lengths! 3. The existence of North Korea I know some of you might think it's so weird that I put the existence of North Korea as why you should learn Korean. Maybe it should be the opposite? I've heard from a European guy that he would never travel to South Korea saying, why should I go to a country which has the North Korean missile pointed to and can be ruined in a minute? Yes, I admit the Korean War is not yet officially terminated since the ceasefire has been agreed in 1953. However, we Koreans do not feel terrified by the possibility of war, but rather we are hoping for the end of the war and unification in the near future. The existence of North Korea, which is a huge issue in the security of Asia, so many countries that share the interest in Asian continent do have so much interest in the security or any issues regarding North Korea. For example, CIA of the United States recruited a US citizen who speaks Korean language with so many benefits for the data collection regarding North Korea. He or she would get more than a thousand dollars per year, which is 3% more than any other CIA, you know, normal CIA analyst salary. Moreover, since Korea is now divided into two, two totally different countries, North and South, and there's a future possibility of being united, you may have more chances if you know Korean language and if you know about Korea. The needs of many other foreign governments or companies would eager to invest for North Korea. Jim Rogers, one of the greatest investors in the world, has mentioned several times that Korea is going to be the most exciting country in the world for the next decade or two. 
and he has been showing a huge and great interest in, in, in investing for North Korea for years. It may be a great chance in the future to be demanded in the world market just because you know the Korean language. My links. Fourth, you'll be loved in Korea. Have you ever heard of this cliche that French in Paris do not respond to you if you ask them in English even though they understand what you're saying? Because they're so proud with their language and sometimes too arrogant? I don't want to prejudge, but telling you my personal impression, I've had several feedback from French that my French pronunciation is not real French pronunciation, or you should practice way more to get the real Paris French pronunciation. Well, maybe the perfection sometimes is needed for your improvement. However, I'd like to tell you that you don't need to be embarrassed or nervous about your not perfect Korean pr pronunciation or you know, foreigner like intonation when you speak to Korean natives in Korean language. Koreans in general do not expect you to speak Korean language. They will rather be so surprised and excited to know that you know Korean even if it's so little. Well, sometimes my foreign friends who wish practicing Korean language complain that they don't give, get a chance to improve it because Koreans respond to you in English if you don't look like Korean. That's because Koreans are not so used to meeting for foreigners who speak Korean well and they think they should help you speaking in English or using foreign languages. If you communicate with them in phrases in Korean, Koreans in general will show you so much interest and love asking you how, where, and why you learned it. You won't get any evaluation that your pronunciation is not good enough or your word usage is not good enough or weird. They just know how hard it is to learn Korean as a foreigner and they'll rather appreciate that you are trying and that you are learning their own language. My lengths! 5. Korean culture. I'm not saying that one's culture is better or more hip than other cultures. Every culture has its own distinctly beautiful traits and I love Latin culture and I love the distinct culture of ethnic groups in China. But this time it's about Korean language and Korea, right? So I have the right to tell you about the modern culture of my country, Korea, right? K-pop and K-drama are way hot these days in the world and I also love them. Well, I should reveal that I'm a shy army as well. I love Taeyang the most. Oh, okay, so let's get back to the point. If you're into modern Korean culture, you'll enjoy it to the max when you understand the language. It's not the same as reading the subtitles or the translated lyrics. You can enjoy the real hidden meaning or the humor point of Korean culture if you know Korean. If you're into modern Korean culture, why do you hesitate? Learn Korean. Okay, these are five main reasons why you should learn Korean. I really want to welcome you and urge you to learn Korean. Teaching my own language Korean for you is one of the biggest joys for me. So I really hope you learn Korean with me. Thank you for watching and I'll be back with another one next time. Thank you and bye-bye. Annyeong.